So you got to ask yourself, what what is robot restaurant? Hmm, maybe a place where robots go to eat. <laughs> Alexa, are you hungry? I don't get hungry or thirsty, but thank you for asking. Hey Siri, what's robot restaurant? One possibility is the hair robot on Adams Avenue in Costa Mesa. Does that one sound good? Nope. Fine, since the robots at our house are useless, we're just gonna have to go to Tokyo and find out for ourselves what robot restaurant is all about. So I loved robots, and we decided to go to Tokyo. We had to go see robots. Of course, we expected them to be everywhere. Yeah, and we saw this guy. He's like a sixty-foot tall Gundam. I think is what he says. You should. You think I know what his name is because I had one when I was a kid, and I had <laughs> Rodan, and I had Voltron, and they would have little fights and little wars. Okay, and... calm down. <laughs> I, that's why I love robots. <laughs> and so we knew when we went to Tokyo that we wanted to stay at this hotel where dinosaur robots were supposed to check you into the hotel. Which was a great concept in theory. Right. And it was fun to watch and to see them, especially yes. probably for kids. Yes. But it didn't quite work out that well. Yeah, they messed up quite a bit. Like, we, we actually had to call someone to come in. I did yell at one of them. And we had to have someone come in and get us checked in, yeah. pretty much. But that was all well and good. Our expectations were really high for Robot Restaurant. You've probably heard of it. We bought tickets to this show right after we bought plane tickets before we had even booked hotels. It's in the Shinjuku area of Tokyo, which is where we stayed. Awesome area for nightlife and entertainment. Tons of good bars for doing karaoke. Yeah, super fun spot to hang out. So much stuff to do. But our goal here was Robot Restaurant. The minute you walk into this place, actually, when you buy the tickets, it's crazy. There is a hallway you have to walk into, there's elevators you go up and down, brightly lit. It is just incredible. Wear sunglasses. Yes, yeah, sensory overload yeah. every second of the way. There's colors everywhere. It's amazing. There are show times all day, every day, so easy to find one that works with your schedule. And good little insider tip here, if you go on the traditional route to buy tickets, it's about 71 bucks a person right now, but if you go on to this website called Kluk, there are some other ones too, but kind of like our Groupon, you can get tickets for about 51 bucks a person. And it's a pretty good deal, and honestly, I would pay a lot more because I love robots <laughs> if that's not clear <laughs> so one of the first things that happens is they put you in a lounge like a staging area before the show and there is a robot band and it's kind of like if Daft Punk broke up and started doing their own thing this is where they would show up and that face you're gonna be making that face the whole night I promise you like what am I seeing right now <laughs> right and this is the robot restaurant and stress the word robot not so much restaurant yes yeah, so we listen to our travel guide here Anthony Bourdain you go for the show and not the food there are a million better places to get food in Tokyo but we did get drinks we got a lot of drinks <laughs> just saying but whether you had drinks or not, you're about to feel like you did, because then the show begins. So for about the next 90 minutes, minus a couple of intermissions to get you to buy, yes, more alcohol. Darn. Yes. Uh, it, it's a spectacle of craziness that, to be honest with you, makes no sense, and that's the best part about it.
tourist trap. Yeah, there aren't a lot of Japanese people there unless they have somebody visiting from out of town. There are people from all over the world having a great time, and we did too. Yeah, call it what it is. We had a blast. Call us tourists. Everyone else in there was too. Great time. So, your three tips. Get discount tickets online. Don't go for the food. And above all, embrace the crazy because that's exactly what it is. Oh, oh, and coming back full circle, we found out robots at this restaurant actually do eat something. Ugh, Alexa, tell me a better joke. What's the ninja's favorite section in the bookstore? Stealth help. Well, closed. <laughs>